Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Doucette here. I just wanted to do a video for you to show you how to use the word cubes to help you solve word problems. Now, it took me a while to figure out how to film this um, so that you could see me work, but um, hopefully it works. <laughs> so just bear with me as I figure it out as I go along. So um, as you can see here, um, the C for cubes means circle the numbers. So when you're looking at the word problem, you're going to circle all the numbers. The U stands for underline. Underline the question so you know exactly what the question is asking you. What do you need to answer? That's really important. The B stands for box. Box the keywords. Keywords mean what are the important things the question is telling you that you need to remember. E stands for evaluate the steps to take, and that just means are you doing addition or are you doing subtraction? So we've learned how to do both of those things. Now you take what you know and you figure out which one it's asking. And the thing to remember there is when we learned about addition and subtraction, we learned about those key words like for addition, they would be all together or some or more. Those are key words that mean addition. Some key words that mean subtraction would be difference, minus, take away. So you need to look for those key words in the word problem. And the last one, S, is solve and check. So you solve either the addition or the subtraction question and give the answer. And then to check your work, you can use the opposite operation. So if it was an addition question, you could use subtraction to check your answer. If it was a subtraction question, you could use addition to check your answer. Okay, so now that I've told you what cubes means, let's actually look at a couple of examples and use cubes to help us solve it. So I'm just gonna move that to the side there and we'll refer back to it when we need to. So the first, um, actually I'll bring it down here so you only focusing on the first question. The first question says, Sarah had seven marbles. She got eight more for her birthday. How many marbles does she have all together. Okay, so if you remember, the first step of cubes is to circle the numbers. So I'm going to take the same color so that you can see here. I'm gonna take pink and I'm going to circle seven. So that's how many she started with. And then the next number I see is she got eight more for her birthday. Now I'm reading and I don't see any other numbers. So those are the only things that I'm going to circle, okay? The next step is to underline the question. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what the question is asking me. Usually the best indicator of this is the question mark. So I see that the question mark is the, at the end of the last sentence and it says, how many marbles does she have all together? That is my question. So I'm gonna go ahead and, sorry if my head's in the way here, underline, whoops, the question. So I know exactly what my answer needs to be. And then the last one is to box the keywords, okay? So I'm going to use my orange marker and I'm going to look for some keywords. Sarah had seven marbles. She got eight more for her birthday. Hmm, that to me, is a very important word. She got more, okay? How many marbles does she have all together? I'm also going to look at all together as an important word because both of these words to me tell me she had a number and then she added to that number. That's what more means. And the word all together here is another way to say, what is the sum? Or what is the answer if you add the two numbers together, okay? So that's how I know I need to add seven plus eight, okay? Now you can use any strategy that you know to solve this question. You could use counting up, 
Maybe you, you can use doubles. Okay, I know that seven plus seven is 14, and that's one more than seven plus seven, so it must be 15. Or maybe you know what eight plus eight is. It's 16, and that's one less, so that's 15 as well. Or maybe you're going to start at eight and count up by seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? Or maybe you use a number line. Any strategy that you need to solve the problem. Now, usually with word problems, if the question is asked in a sentence, you should be answering it in a sentence. Um, because of distance learning, um, usually I would give you like fill in the blanks to do that, to make it easier. So instead of having you write out the whole sentence, which you can definitely do, um, you can record yourself um, giving the answer, or you could write out Sarah has 15 marbles all together. See, now I can check my answer, okay? 15 minus eight equals seven, 15 minus seven equals eight. I know I got my answer right. Did I answer my question? How many marbles does she have all together? Yes, I did answer. She has 15 marbles altogether. Okay, it's really important to check our work.